I am Cheryl Kramer Kay, and I am here today with one of my favorite human beings on the planet who also happens to be the greatest makeup artist oh. I know. You know, it's funny, I, um, I'm doing makeup a long time, well, well over 30 years. Um, I've got 10 years on my girlfriend. And I will tell you that as a makeup artist, but also living life yourself allows you to really understand like um, what everybody's plight is. And I think all of us want to look good, but we don't want to look made up. No. And I think our lids start to soften as we get older, just like everything softens. <laughs> so do your eyes. And if you're not somebody who is signing up anytime soon for an eye job, which by the way, I'm all for it. I think I've got some great tips for you right now that are gonna really help you to see the way you've been doing your eye makeup a lot differently. So first step, real quick, um, are you using eye cream at night? I am. Oh, good girl. Find one that allows you to do the whole orbital area. I don't do that during the day. That is my nighttime treatment. During the day, before I start putting eye makeup on, I would like to recommend to you, and if you don't have this, that's fine, I'll give you an alternative, a eye primer. Your lids may show veins, they may look red, they may have a tea stain. I get very veiny. A quick step can be taking an eye primer, this is a waterproof eye primer, and it's a little beige in color, and putting it, I'll just do one eye right now, for purposes of time, it's right here, and you do the whole eyelid everywhere. And then my other tip is to take it and put a little bit right under your lashes and under your eyes too, because it's an eye brightener too. So when I come into that inside corner, I get right under the eyes. I'm gonna always tell you that it's okay to stop there and put some eye pencil on and some lashes and brows. I will say, Cheryl, to preface this whole quick instruction, three E's. Eye breath, eye line, and eyelash. But I like to take a light color and put it everywhere on the lid. And now what I'm gonna do is help all of us who really have a problem with the lid. So I'm going to create the sculpting around the eye where when you first look at it, you go, oops, is that too much? And then you say, nope, it's not too much. We've, we've sculpted that crease and you might say, you know, that looks awful. It looks pretty bold. Right, it looks very bold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a warmer color, like a, almost like a terracotta-ish color, and I'm gonna take the edges and I'm gonna soften the edges with a different brush and so that you don't see where a line begins and ends. Remember, this makeup today, Cheryl, is not about like, oh, that's a pretty color purple or a pretty color pink or even a pretty color brown or beige. This makeup is about how do we get that eye looking more open again? Yep. So a big, bigger brush just to soften. Nothing on this brush, just to soften. Now, what I like to do after I've done that crease, mm -hmm. I like to take a light color and just the same color that I used on the whole lid, that French vanilla. And I like to come back on the lid because Cheryl, you're lucky, your lids are showing. Talk to me in 10 years, my friend. But a lot of women don't have the opportunity yep. to have that lid show. So now by putting the beige, remember light brings forward, dark detracts. Mm -hmm. So that crease, by darkening it, I'm detracting that skin that's a little fuller. I'm lightening the lid so the lid becomes more air apparent. You can see it here more. And that's really all you're doing with shadows. Yes. And now this is what I love. A waterproof eye pencil. It's called Eye Care. I like when it has a little applicator on the other end mm -hmm. because sometimes we don't have a perfect hand. I don't know what you mean. Oh, no, of course not. And that applicator will help for blending out. So I'm just going to do a black line because to me, Ooh, you, may, you may be saying, wait just a minute. Hold on. That's harsh. I don't want to look harsh. I'm telling you, if you don't see your lid or if you've gotten softer here, you need a deep color. It could be a dark black brown. It could be a dark charcoal, but it should be dark. You've got an applicator that you can take and soften the edges. And one thing that I didn't tell everybody was that when I do this makeup show, I'm in front of a 10-time makeup mirror. 
So <laughs> ten, ten, ten times magnification. Ten nine times magnification. You may not need ten. You may not need magnification. Oh, God bless you if you don't. But if you want to look good in bright daylight or wherever you arrive to, there is nothing like taking the magnification challenge. Because if you look good in here and you don't see any sm spots or smudges, right. I'm gonna tell you something, you'll look good anyway. So I'm going to my eye pajal. Um, I love this yeah, this I, pencil. I've never met a pencil that truly does not move until you're ready to remove it, okay? okay. So this is like a soft, do I look up, down, um, close eye? For my sake, look up a little bit. Um, and I'm going right under the lower lashes, okay? And because the Kajal pencil is a little wider, you're gonna get a smokier look automatically. You're not gonna get a sharp, precise line. Remember, not definition, not black, gotcha. not dark charcoal. The top is meant for darker colors. The bottom is for softer, lighter colors. The next thing is going to be to curl your lashes. Getting the lashes heightened is what's opening your eyes. So FYI, I put on mascara before I came because yes. I'm not walking around New York City without anything on. Yeah. Mascara is my crutch, yeah. so I'm yeah. already mascara. I am gonna put a drop on your bottom lashes. Like you said, you already had it on. Um, so just, I like to add a little bit more. This is our universal brow. It's one color. It works on everybody depending on the pressure you put on of the pencil. Ah. So if I press down harder, I'm going to get a deeper color. If I go lighter, like I'm going on Cheryl because she already has really a lot of beautiful hair on her brow. But mine I find get, I have gaps now. I see that. Yeah. I see that. And that's the other thing because you know what happened, Cheryl? What happened? The, hair, the gaps that you have. Those hairs that you used to have here, yeah, you know what, what what's happening with that? Where they go? They die. No, oh, they, they go on the chin. Oh shit! They end up on your chin. Uh huh. So those hairs you once had now are <laughs> popping out here. So I think that uh, unless you have any questions, we can go and finish that on the line. Let's wrap this. Shit let's up. wrap it up, sister. Wrap it up. Let's put a bow. Oh, on. let's go. Yes, dear. I am fully, truly bright-eyed and, and bushy-tailed. I love you. I love you more. Thank you.